This video will show you how to install Rexnord's Omega Elastomeric Coupling. Before beginning, ensure all installers are using the necessary personal protective equipment. Due to its simple design, there are just a few components to work with when installing the Omega Coupling. Two hubs, two element halves, and the necessary hardware. In this video, we will be installing a close coupled Omega Coupling, but note the same installation steps should be taken for an Omega Spacer Coupling. Before you start, inspect both the driving and the driven shafts, as well as hub bores to make sure they are free of dirt and burrs. Also be sure the keys fit on the shafts properly. Once your shafts and bores are clean, mount both of the hubs to the shafts, securing only one hub, leaving the other loose for minor adjustment of spacing. When using a tapered bushing, follow the bushing manufacturer's instructions. If the hub is bored for an interference fit, we recommend heating the hub in water, oil bath, or an oven, and quickly positioning the hub onto the shaft. Do not spot heat the hub, as that may cause distortion. For straight board hubs, all published shaft gap requirements are with the hub face flush with the shaft end. Now, one great thing about the Omega coupling is the versatility in installation. You are able to slide the hub back onto the shaft as long as there is sufficient keyway length available, as shown by the dotted red line in the graphics shown here. You may also overhang the hub off of the end of the shaft as long as at least 80% of the shaft diameter is covered. Referencing the graphic shown, dimension Y should be equal to or greater than 0.8 times the dimension X. Now that you have set your allowable shaft engagement using your element as your template, remove the element again so that you can check the alignment of your hubs. To correct for angular misalignment, use calipers to check the gap between the hubs. To correct for parallel misalignment, place a straight edge across the hub flanges in two places at 90 degrees from each other. In both cases, adjust or shim as needed until the equipment is within the acceptable misalignment range for installation. Place half of the element around the hubs and secure it to one hub with the self-locking cap screws. The elastomer element will space the other hub. Then, tighten the first half of the element to the other hub and then mount the other half of the elements to the hubs. Please note, that Omega's flex elements are weight matched and packaged in pairs. This is done to ensure the correct balance and best possible performance. Don't install one half element with a half element from another coupling set, even if the other coupling set is the same size. Tighten all cap screws to the recommended torque settings. Failure to secure cap screws properly could cause the coupling components to become dislodged during operation, possibly resulting in personal injury. So reference this table for appropriate cap screw torque instructions, which will be dictated by the size of your coupling. For example, we are installing a size 10 coupling, so the correct torque rating for the cap screws of this coupling would be 204 inch-pounds. If element replacement is required, as we stated previously, it is important to change both half elements, never to replace just one half. This is increasingly important after operation as stiffness levels change over time, and again, those elements are weight matched for improved balance. Fortunately, the Omega coupling was designed with the replace in place feature allowing you to replace the filling part of the coupling, the element, without needing to move your hubs or connected equipment. For more information or documentation on Rexnord products, please visit rexnord.com. To continue your Rexnord training, please visit the Rexnord University Online Learning Center or the Rexnord YouTube Library.